That was a terrifying scene in Seoul this morning after the U.S. ambassador to South Korea, Mark Lippert, was attacked with a knife. NBC's Keir Simmons has been monitoring the story. He is with us this morning from London. Keir, what happened? Well, I mean, now he's in uh, the hospital and has undergone two and a half hours of surgery, 80 stitches. What happened was he went to a breakfast event, and uh, we can show you more of those pictures. He was uh, jumped on, uh, allegedly, by this man. He was remarkably cool as he walked away, uh, you can see there, uh, holding his cheek uh, and those that wound to his cheek uh, for inches uh, wide uh, an inch deep so he is extremely lucky uh, he left the building uh, got bundled into a car uh, headed to the hospital uh, meanwhile uh, the man who is accused of attacking him kim ki jong is a 55 year old man and was uh, shouting protesting about uh, south korean u.s uh, military exercises that are taking place at the moment uh, so he was clearly trying to engage in some kind of a of a protest uh, but the question is going to be about how it was that a man like that managed to get so close to so uh, senior an american diplomat yeah i mean and just and then also just how we walked out of this uh, event and we see these images i mean you know it, it just seems like uh, i don't know look at it he's in the middle of the street the, yeah. uh, you know asking for yeah. an ambulance along with other people and then and then north korea has has reacted to this i understand here yeah, that, well, that's, that's right. North Korean television calling uh, it a, a punishment deserved to the warmonger, uh, the U.S. Uh, so, uh, you know, they're making their uh, feelings clear, frankly, uh, what you'd expect. Uh, the Secretary of State, Kerry, at the same time, uh, saying, uh, condemning the attack plainly, uh, and South Korea condemning uh, the attack, too. Uh, but the questions are really now are going to uh, how was it that uh, this man was able to get close to him? We, we understand that the embassy he didn't ask for an escort and there was no kind of a, a metal detector on the outside uh, to get into this event. Now, look, South Korea is not considered a particularly risky place uh, for a U.S. ambassador. So perhaps that what seems to be a fairly relaxed approach yeah. uh, was justified or at least it seemed justified uh, uh, until this uh, particular attack uh, and the alleged assailant by the way uh, mm -hmm. is reportedly uh, accused of uh, attacking another ambassador the Japanese ambassador uh, some years ago throwing a piece of concrete at him uh, Keir Simmons in London thank you for that report appreciate it the president's pen to paper new signs of